Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm not expecting to win, but I'm expecting to come away with hopefully another top 15, top 10, maybe. Um, yeah, last time we came to Talladega last season, we ran we ran really good, right? I think. I can't remember. But I think we finished inside the top 10. Anyways, look at the point standings. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, if you missed the last race, we finished 10th at Texas. We found some speed, man. It was. It felt so good. After a bad couple of races, we fell all the way back to 33rd, but uh, after our top 10, we were up back up to P30 in points. So, uh, and we're really not too far off. Kenny Wallace, Kyle Petty, Robbie Gordon, uh, Elliot Sandler is you know, a little ways up, up the road. But, um, yeah, top 25 is still well in reach. And if we string a good couple of races together, we can. I think we can get probably back inside the top 20 before the season's over. I mean, we're only eight races in. So... I mean, once again, the schedule is very up and down for us. Uh, we go to Martinsville afterwards, which we've always qualified pretty much. I think we've qualified on the pole almost every race there. Uh, California, uh, Richmond, uh, uh, Charlotte's a good track, and Dover's always been bad for us, and Pocono's. <laughs> so it's, it's really up and down. So uh, and then we get into the road course, and then back to Daytona. So. Look at our team management. So once again, we got uh, we got some new sponsors on here. The biggest one, the only one that really matters is this O'Reilly sponsorship on the back bumper. Uh, qualifying 25th place. We've already done that so far once. And we got that beautiful $86,000 bonus. I look at our garage. We did make up, uh, we did some some crew shakeups with our pit crew. So hopefully we'll be a little bit faster and a little bit more efficient. But uh, yeah, we got some good stuff. And just like that, man, three races left on the build. We've got three races left there, and then four races left on our body build. So next three to four races, we're going to have all those fresh pieces come in amongst the stuff we already have, which is all pretty damn good. This is our body we had for Texas. It's still got 59 down for us, 52 drafting. That's not too bad, but we saved our best body for Talladega. A quick look at the shop editions. I do... Yeah, I really want to get this, but it's going to take $500,000 for just the the minimum 18 races what i think i'm going to do I, I think i want to get this one just out of the way the engine hoist engine efficiency plus 10 i'd like to get that one out of the way that would that would help out a little bit obviously it's not going to really give us any speed but um i you know it's cheap and i, I just kind of want to get it out of the way so we're going to evaluate how much money we come away with after talladega but uh i'd like to to probably take the honestly i'll probably just how, how about we just get it out of the way Hundred thousand dollars. It'll leave us with ten. Nine races down the road. It'll probably take us at least that to get back up enough money to do a major upgrade, anyways. So let's just get it out of the way. There. Okay. Nice little cheapy upgrade. Once again, it's not too significant, but it needed to be done. So let's get it on there. All right. Well, let's uh, go ahead and hop into it. Ten thousand dollars in the bank. Uh, that's not pretty, but uh, yeah, shout out to the sponsors, man. The sponsors and. Uh, uh, hopefully some uh, some race winnings. Um, we'll put together a pretty good car here. And the body, mm, 57 drafting, 64 downforce. So the biggest thing here is probably the chassis, honestly. 58 tire wear. I'm pretty sure that's the highest we've ever had. It's pretty close. This new engine build, when that comes in, uh, I can't look at the stats there, but uh, that should have 60, 62, something like that. It should, uh, mm, that's gonna, it's going to be nice. But uh, 58 tire wear, not bad at all. So I'm excited, man, to see how the tires really do wear. They usually don't wear a lot of Talladega. If we could get away with, like, one stop or two where I just, you know, could not take tires at all or I could just get away with it, then that would be that would be really big. But two tires all the way mostly this entire race. All right, I have to qualify. So uh, hopefully we can put a good run together. Obviously, we got to qualify top 25 for our sponsor bonus. I don't know. We never really seem to qualify all too well. At play tracks. Uh, I don't know if we can get top 25 today. I hope so. Uh, honestly, I didn't do a lot of practice. I usually keep, I don't know, I usually keep most of the same gear ratios and setup. There's not really much you can do with the setup on the plate tracks. You can't adjust the spender, the, the, spe the fender flare, the, the spoiler. But uh, I already hit 181 down the back as I duck it off onto the apron. Gonna make sure I don't do that for the next lap. Next, ma next lap is the money lap here. Oh man, if we could qualify top 25, that'd be so pretty. But I don't think we're gonna get much higher than that, if, if anything. So I don't know. For all I know, we might be starting last. Let's try to run as smooth as we can here. And see what we got. Hey, 
P43 as we usually are on lap number one. Oh. Okay, it wasn't the smoothest, but I exited the corner really good there. 181, 182, let me see 183, 183, 183. Not quite. Okay. I get through three and four pretty good. Oh. Oh, yeah. That was a good little run right there. I think it's a B top 25 run. I don't know, he still could be last. Oh, hit 182 there for a second. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. We've got a lot of ground to make up during the race. Oh, uh, whatever, man! F f f fuck off! The NASCAR Winston Cup Series visits the famous Talladega Super Speedway today for the Aaron's 499. This is Joe Moore and Barney Hall for MRN, and we're live to bring you all the action. We should be in for quite a show today, Barney. Let me sum it up for you all. 2.6 miles, four lanes, 190 miles an hour. Just doesn't get much better. Let's just hope these guys can stay out of the big one. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was. With three wins and 10 top 10 finishes, he showed that he's one of the rising stars in NASCAR. In 2002, Matt Kenseth led all drivers with five wins. Unfortunately, he also has had 10 races where he finished 30th or worse. If they can just get some consistency, he will be a threat for the championship. The 83 car maintains a top 10 average finish on these super speedways coming into this race. Yeah, he definitely has found something on these big tracks. I look for him to have a great race again in this one. I gotta talk with my sponsors. Is 26 okay? It's only one spot off. Can I get like half, half of my bonus? Yeah, oh, got it. Here we go. 47 laps, starting 26th technically. I don't know. I'm gonna start 25th technically. First, 25th to the line. Eat shit, Matt Kansas. I think that that's good enough, right? No, yeah. Oh well. Jack Sprague out qualified me. Christian Fittipaldi out qualified me. That's awesome. Don't even check right up the gut. See you later, shit. Stan Barrett's up here. What the fuck? What the hell do you guys got for the play tracks? Shit. Okay. Yeah, let's go, Christian. Yeah. No, I don't know if that's the guy I want to be following up through here. Uh, but it looks like that's our only hope right now. Hey, look at that. How it already spread out. Jesus. We gotta make sure we don't get stuck. The closer we can hang to the front of the pack, the better. Oh, that's Ashton Lewis. Oh, it must not be too mad if he didn't take a swing at me. But he's he's a rival. There you go. Now we finally got some momentum. I'm starting to roll now. Who the hell is this? Who the hell? Brad Carter. Who the fuck? Welcome. I don't think he's running any races yet. Damn it. I lost my, my momentum. All right, Brad. Let's go, Brad. Oh, man, Matt Kansas wants to... Why are you checking up, Brad? Put on the big boy balls, Brad. It's a Talladega, man. Jesus. Damn it. Matt Kansas. We'll follow you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That didn't sound good. There you go. Matt Kansas got big boy balls. He's won a Talladega once. Uh, I know he won... Oh, he wins in the future. <laughs> I can't remember. Is that the only time we won a tell? I think it's the only time I remember. 2012? Okay, Terry Stewart killed the field. Michael Waltrip almost won, but he didn't, and I was really upset. Anyways. Alright, well, Matt Kansas ditched me. <laughs> Pulled up in line and said, fuck you. Come on, Jack. Help a brother out, man. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Who is this up here? Elliot Sadler dicking up the line. Go figure. 
Look at the freight train at Elliot Sadler. Eat shit, Elliot. I'll hop right on it. You don't mind me. I'm following Kenny and Matt. That's a textbook yeah. Man, they didn't give me any room, that's for damn sure. Oh, P21. Oh, oh, okay. Hermie Sadler's getting up on it. Good, good for you. And just like that, I lost the draft. There's only two cars, and then it's just basically the lead pack up there, I guess. Damn it. The, the field is literally pretty much cut in two. Okay, I guess we're going to follow Elliot Sadler then. That's cool. I'll just come up in here. Everything okay? All right, well, we can mend this relationship a little bit. How you doing, Elliot? Um, yeah, just like that. As soon as I tuck in line, we catch right back up. Well, at least to Kenny Wallace, that is. I think Matt Kenseth has got his own little plan here. He's just going to drive away from all of us. Damn it, Elliot. I'm going to need you to figure out if you're going to be fast or are you not going to be fast. Shit. Are you going to give me room or are you not going to give me room? You can hold it. Fuck it. Check it. Listen, if you're going to come up here, and you're going to be in the pack, I'm going to need you to, like, to just be fast. And to not check up and to push and just fucking get on it, man. We're down oh, spot. Keep digging. my God. A little bit of freight train. You're clear. Top five. Oh, yeah, there we go. I got a nice little run. Number 38 is still there. Oh, Should my God, that was close. All right, halfway on fuel, so we can go, what, like, 14 laps, I guess? 13, 14, somewhere in there. The 38 car is still there. So we're getting there. Good pass. Thank you. Hold it steady. Three one. Oh, and these guys are pitting. Really? Still there. Yeah, that's pretty early. Whatever. The 19 car is still the there. The lap nine. I don't know about that, but I mean they all already get better there. fuel mileage than me anyway. So what's it matter? Let's just follow That's Elliot. That put us up to P14. Eh, it's not really going to mean much at the end of the day, but. Oh my fucking damn it. Did he say car high? I don't remember hearing a car high in there, but, you know, whatever. Did he say car high? He probably said car high. I I'll tell you what, I was not aware that there was a car there. One way or another, I was not aware. Alright, Dale, you go ahead. Oh, man. At least we'll come out. Yeah, some of these guys will be able to draft off a little. There we go. Coming back, Marcus Grubbs. Poor Dale must have clipped me in there somewhere. Hopefully, we can make up a little bit of time with Dale. I know he's always got a fast car. I mean, we're going to be pitting here soon. Anyways, lap 10. Alright, I think we're going to go ahead and pit this time. We got some really good draft help here, but yeah, I don't want to run out of fuel. So we're just going to go ahead and bring it in. We're already cutting it pretty close. I think we're going to get, get the very close on fuel here. We're almost empty. All right. Oh, make sure we don't speed. Coming in hot. Okay. No, no tires. No damage. Full tank of fuel. I don't think we... None of our tires popped up yellow at all, so... Yeah. Yeah, we need some fuel, buddy. Everybody, uh, a lot of people already pit, so. Okay. Yeah, didn't really want a chassis adjustment, but thanks. Okie dokie. Well, came out P25 already, so that's not bad. I'm fucking, I'm pulling the hell up. Uh, hopefully we can get some draft help from the leaders. And we'll see how this thing cycles. So that was a pretty clean stop. I actually didn't see how long it was, but... Um, that's what we're going to do all damn day. Probably not. I mean, we'll take, we'll, yeah, we're going to have to take some tires at some point, I'd imagine, but uh, probably next stop, honestly, we'll take right sides or whatever, but, um, yeah, that's what we're going to have to do all race long. Looks like Jeff Gordon's leader. I'm going to fight to stay on the lead lap here, just in case. A caution probably won't come out, but you never know. So I'm going to, either way, it helps to save time. Well, more or less, it slows these guys down. So, yeah, I'm gonna be blocking, blocking you. Like Gordon's already against the damn it. Okay, we better not get a fucking caution. That's all I know. 
No, I do not want to get stuck a lap down. I'm going to flip shit if I get stuck a lap down because we get a stupid caution. Oh, three spots, spots, spots. Sweet. Oh, look how far we came, came ahead of those guys right there. We gained a lot of time with that. No tire change. I already have to P18. We should get some more, I think. Oh, that's nice. And since we're already in the draft, man, look at this time we're making up. Keeping up with the leaders. Oh, that's beautiful. 188. Mm. I guess these guys are going to be coming into pit. Hopefully they don't run out in front of me. I've seen that happen before here. They should all be pitting here, right here, I'd imagine. Not pitting. Okay. These guys aren't for position, are they? No, no. Yeah, they should be the leaders. No, they're not the leaders. Wait a second. He's not too happy. These guys for a position? The they are for position. What the fuck was I talking about? There's Dale. Oh, cool. Wow, look at us up here with the big boys. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, we're going to gain some more spots here. Damn, I should have probably stayed behind Jimmy Johnson. Uh huh. yeah. Ricky Craven, look at us. Top 15. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Ooh, I'll take it down here then. Yeah, I don't know who this is. Jerry Nemechek pulling up in front of everybody and slowing them up. Appreciate it. Oh, and somebody's blowing up up there, I think. Unless the graphics are really bad. I can't tell. No, I think the graphics are... No, I don't... No, the graphics are just that bad, I think. I think. I mean, I'm not sure what I saw. We cycled up in a P13. And we're rolling right now. As long as we can stay in this group and then pit again with just like right sides or whatever. Holy shit, man. The 21 car is coming nice little on. run. And I lost the pack. Or I lost the draft for Joe Nemechek. So, I guess we're just going to have to let these guys go one by one. And try to get some more draft out of it and try to suck back up a little bit. But we're only like four seconds off the leader. I don't know who the, who the leader is. I guess it's Jeff Gordon. I don't, I don't know. I got really confused there, and I thought I was getting lapped. All right, we're going to let Tony Stewart by here. Already halfway on fuel. Looks like we're going to let Ricky Rudd go by, too. Oh, I didn't say you, Jamie. Okay, now hopefully I can draft a little bit, gain a little bit of ground. You know, as much as we can to stop the bleeding. Once again, every, every second, every tenth matters. There you go. Keep on racing side by side. We'll draw you right Keep back in. Oh, yeah. And we're P15, man. If we could cycle through another thing of pit stop, I'd just, you know, cycle through another set of pit stops. Man, we can make up another couple, five, six seconds, maybe. Hmm. Oh, shit. It's Robbie Gordon back there. Oh, man. I know he's pissed. Oh, man. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna let him by, and then I can draft off. Yeah, that was, that was pretty stupid. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, whatever, whatever, man. Oh shit! Are they running out of fuel? It looks that way. Huh? All right. Well, Ricky. Yeah, I was the same. Man, I started pulling him. Damn. Well, yeah. I guess he's out of fuel. I think that was Ricky Craven that we passed on pit road. One more, I think. Uh, no, okay, he's darn done. All right, so we got Mark Martin, Joe Nemechek up in there, and I think we're gonna have to pit this time. So, yeah. I mean, it should be just a pretty routine two stopper from here. We pit, uh, and it gets us in our fuel window to go, you know, to pit one more time. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and bring it down here and not risk running it out like those guys. That'll lose you probably, you know, definitely a chunk of time. So, we're going to bring it in here, P12. And we're going to take right sides, and we're going to see where we come out. All right, boys, don't fuck it up. Oh, don't hit the wall either. Jeez. All right, right sides. It's going to take a little bit of time. Um, I don't know. I don't want him to keep on making it looser, so. More loose. Fuel tank almost empty, yeah. All right, boys. 
Right sides. Um, just please don't mess it up. All right. See, we got it. Nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Very nice. Now we see where we come out. 25th. I think that's about what we did last time. Okay. Now here comes the leader. This is exactly what happened last time. I want to stay in front of the leader. And I pulled out and he is fucking hauling. Whoever it is. Oh, yeah. They are hauling. It's a lead group here. Kevin Harvick. Michael Waltrip. There you go. Hey, I slowed him down. Thanks, guys. Okay. So Kevin Harvick's pissed. Uh. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'm gonna just chill here, just in case. I don't want to see a caution come out and just fuck me. So, <laughs> it'd be great if I could just, uh, you know, if you don't mind, I'll just chill out here in front of you guys. You guys can save a little bit of equipment, save a little bit of fuel, tires, or something. Um, yeah. yeah, these are the leaders. I'm not going to lap down, man. That would be such horseshit. I'm not going to lap down. It's not happening. I mean, it is only if we get a caution, which we probably won't get a caution, but I don't even want to, I don't even want to think about it. There we go. Sterling's pitting. <laughs> These guys aren't. That's cool. There they go. They just ran out of fuel, it looks like. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know who the leader is at this point. I don't know if it's Kurt Busch or Jeff Burton or any of these guys, but I'm staying up here, all right? P24. Oh, sweet. Jerry Nadu's out, so I guess that's a spot. I guess. Yeah, what is? I guess it's Kurt Busch uh, who is the leader. So I'm, I'm staying out, man. I'm trying to stay in front of these guys. Mm -mm. I do not want to get stuck a lap down. I, we've had those cautions here before, especially when the when the it's uh, yeah the, uh, <laughs> the everything's cycling out. People are coming out, and people are slow on the tracks. See, they're all running out of fuel. Look at this. These bastards are too wide. What are y'all doing? Oh no! Oh look out! Ooh. Okay, I think they're okay. Now we see where we cycle. A chunk of people on pit road. Top 15, we need some people to draft off of. There's Elliot Sadler. I know Mark Martin came out back here, and Jeff Gordon's behind me. So, I don't know. We, uh, I think we'll be inside the top 10 for the most part. If we could draft off of Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon, and then one more stop, uh, I guess we'll take left sides. I don't know, the left front's yellow. I don't know, we might just few only, and that'd be it. Here we go. This is basically the end of the pit stops here, so we're going to see where we cycle. 12th, 11th, top 10. Oh, man, we're going to be well inside the top 10 here. Oh, don't hit anybody. Ninth. Oh, hello, top 10. How are you doing? Eighth. Seventh. Mm, six. Uh, fifth, fourth, third. Uh, that's probably where I'm going to draw the line here. All right. And we'll just, uh, if you don't mind, my friend Jeff Burton, how you doing? We're inside the top five. Now we've got one more pit stop that should gain us even more time. I don't know what that, you know, where that'll get us, but yeah. Looks like we'll probably have to take left sides. Probably. Yeah, I don't know who the top three are, but they gone. They are gone. Okay, well, Jeff Burton. <sighs> pulling away from me. I don't know when the fuel window is. We can at least go 10 laps, I think. So as soon as I get in my fuel window, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and pit. Uh, well, I don't know. Unless... Depends on what the draft help is looking like. If everybody passes me here, then, then I'll be kind of SOL. But I don't know. If I can draft off a couple of these guys, I don't really care about losing these spots because at the end of the day, we'll probably gain them back and then some. So 
Uh, this last pit stop, unless we really mess it up. Only eight seconds back to the leader. Stay hungry. Eight seconds back to the leader. So. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to win the race on pit strategy, but we ought to come away with a nice little top ten, maybe a top five. Ryan Newman coming in high. What the hell? It's rookie Ryan Newman. Uh, cool. <laughs> what the hell? All right, it's unfortunately as great as we're working with Ryan Newman, I'm gonna have to pit here. Cause I don't want to risk running out of fuel. So uh, we are definitely inside the fuel window and don't speed. Don't speed. Oh boy, it was. We're gonna take left sides. I'm gonna need you guys not to mess this up. It's just left sides. You guys don't even walk, have to walk across the car or walk past it. You just gotta. Right there. They're right there. Come on, get it. Oh my god. 10, 11, 12. Come on! What the fuck? God! Dang! I knew I should have took left sides, but what did I do? I had faith in my pit crew. And it always fucks me over. Fuck! Unbelievable, man. Every time. It's fucking horse shit. I'll still end up gaming a little bit of time, but not as much as I should have. It's it, How hard is it? Do I have to get out and crew my own fucking car? Jesus Christ, man. Who was that? Was that the rear tire changer? Like, what the fuck are you doing on my team, man? You had one job. One job. Running great. How do you fuck it up? Back here with the leaders. Uh, they try not to go lap down again. They're trying to stay on the lead lap. Best place for him is in your Once rear again, you never know. Might get a might get a stupid caution. Oh. Well, there went that. I think. Oh Number no, we can squeeze him. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at David Green back there chilling. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so Kevin Harvick and Michael Walter, my god. Walking away with it. I would imagine David Green is not the third place car. And there's somebody really slow here, so um That pass was for position. Nice job. Trying to keep him slow position. You. Well, that kinda fucked over Kevin Harvick. Which Mike it would've fucked over Michael Walter too. That's a lot of time lost though. If I could have gained even more time on the pit stop, man. Well, top 25. Okay, we're clear. There's a couple other guys up here. I don't. I don't know. I hope we didn't lose time out of that. I don't think we would have, but I don't know. Who are these guys? Who are these people? Um, Tony Stewart and Jeff Jeff Gordon. Cool. That's not too bad. Man, Michael Waltrip's staying out there, man. He's gonna have a late race pit stop. You don't got many laps to go. I'm assuming he's gonna pit. I hope. You don't got too many laps left. I'm nervous. Yeah, a lot of rate, a lot of late race pit stops here. We still should pick up quite a few spots, and I think Michael Walter just ran the bitch out of fuel. Oh man, rip his race. That's gonna be really costly. Oh, and he's gonna fuck up everybody behind him. Nice. All right, now we just need no cautions in this thing to cycle. I don't know where we're gonna cycle to, but we should cycle inside the top 10, I'd imagine. 21st, and we're catching these people up here for some reason. 18th. Somebody's really fucking this up up here, and I don't know which way to go. Ashton Lewis, I blame him. Good old lap cars. At least it give me some draft help, though. Ooh, not quite. Yeah, I'm done trying to get behind people. There's Mark Martin. D17. All right. Just gonna get through the lap cars. And there's a slow. Oh Jesus. Yeah! I got. I got by it. And there's Terry Labonte. P13. Yeah! Oh my god, we're gonna get a top 11. 
Probably. Oh man, they're just running that shit out of fuel. Hit the reserve! Hit the reserve! Wow, that fucked up everybody behind me, so I don't gotta worry about all that. Wow. Okay, well, here's somebody. I don't know who this is, but hello. Wow, just like that, yeah, I'm pretty much by myself. Well, uh, there's still a group behind me. It's a ways, but. All right, here we go. Let's see where we cycle. It's gonna be pretty high. Oh, faith. Come on, buddy. We're six seconds back. That's Let's Michael Waltrip right in front of me. Oh my God! See how much time he lost? Seven. We're gonna get a top five. My God. My God. And the leaders are gonna be just up, up the way. Fourth. Now those are the leaders right there in front of. <laughs> Imagine if we didn't fuck up the stop. Rear tire changer, you're done. You're done. I can't tolerate it. That is the difference between probably maybe having a chance of winning the race and not winning the race. Oh my God! And here we are, Ryan Newman. Oh my God! Are you a kidding me? White flag. All right, we're gonna follow Ryan Newman here. And you fucking I'm supposed to go underneath of him. Oh my god, we're like right there. They've got like a run. Michael Walter made it back to the lead though, and then. Okay, those guys just took off. So we're gonna protect here for the top five. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna have a chance unless they stack up a lot for some reason. I don't think they will, but. I'm just going to protect here for the top five because it's doable. Nice to see these guys caught back up, though. Look at these guys going at it for the win, though. Damn it. Look how close. If we didn't fuck that up, that was at least a four-second fuck-up. We would be winning this race right now. He's done. He's done. I don't care how long he's been on the team. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'll take a top five. I would have gladly took a win though, but nope, rear tire changer. I don't even know if it's a rear tire changer, but I'm pretty sure it's a rear tire changer. The lead changed hands Fuck quite a bit, didn't it, Barney? Back to back top tens. There's no way I've done that, right? I don't think I've done that, but hey. Oh, we could have won that race. We could have won it. We could have won it. Oh my god. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Damn. Okay, not as much money as I thought. Oh, I got an award. To, okay, well, to be fair, yeah, we didn't have any previous... We were only had $10,000 in the bank, so that, that gets us back rolling. $113,000 race winnings, 252000 It should have been over 300000 with the secondary sponsor bonus, but okie dokie. Well, Michael Waltrip won. Almost choked it. It was actually a close finish between him and him and Newman. Uh, yeah, almost threw it away because he ran out of fuel in the backstretch. Somehow got it back in and still won the damn race. And there we are. <laughs> Sweet. Not only back-to-back -to -back top 10s, but back-to-back -back races where we didn't finish a lap down or more. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and scroll down here. So I think we raced with just about everybody in the field at some point for the most part. So, looks like we had two problems. Ward Burton, Jerry Day do. Eh. And there you have it. Well, like I say, we capitalized really well on those uh, two races, taxes, and uh, where else did we? <laughs> that they get, yeah. So now we go to Martinsville. We got to finish the race, but we've always run half halfway decent. So, let's take a look at these standings, see what we're up to now. Look at us. From 33rd on the climb back up to 27th. And we're a handful of points away from, yeah, we're really not too far away from top 20. Let's see, a 10th, a 4th. Look at that. And where are we at in earnings? 14th in earnings, we went up another spot. We're almost, we've almost cracked a million in earnings. So that's, I'm really proud of us, man. Season 3, we're finally getting, like, I, for, for a while there, the first, like, season or two, I really thought I would just be shit the entire time. Uh, and at Talladega, I mean, geez, 
a four year old could probably win that race. Oh, you know, speaking of four, <laughs> speaking of <sighs> team management, team rear tire changer. Enders! 69 skill, too? Really? Was he the one who fought? Or was it the front tire changer? You know, you know, just fuck it. It was a tire changer. So, <laughs> whoever it was got somebody else fired, too. Front tire changer, rear tire changer. You're done. We had Kosenko. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, yeah, we got some better options anyways. Here you go. 69 skills, 67 speed. Welcome to the team. Rear tire changer, I had Anders. We're going to take Young. 69 speed, not bad. Don't like that skill, but hey, at least he's fast. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be pissed at him, too. All right, so look at our garage here. We're looking good on uh, chassis for Martinsville. Uh, engines, we can live with it. And the bodies, very nice. So I guess uh, I guess we'll get this one repairing. Ooh, I could overhaul it. Ooh, I could overhaul it. <sighs> yeah, I don't think it's happening. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, if it's only seventy-seven thousand repair, I it's not worth what two drafting and one down for us. Uh, I'll save my money. Thank you very much. There we go. At the end of the day, we we uh that worked out really good. We we dropped a hundred. Well, yeah, a hundred thousand for that shop edition, and then we came out of this week. With 192,000 in the bank, if we have a good run of Martinsville, let's say we finish top 20 there, qualify top 25, we could be looking really good. If we could just, you know, put back a little bit of money, save a little bit of money, and then when that shop petition comes in, in nine, well, we've got eight races, nine races, eight, nine races from now, I don't know how much we could save, but I think we could at least get up to 500,000 and get the 18 race deal. Oh, yeah, I definitely think we could do that. I don't know. Who knows? We might be able to save up to a million. Go for, like, what is it, 12 races at that point? I don't know. But uh, I got to say, man, I'm pretty happy. Things are looking up. We're back up to you know, 27th in points or whatever, top 30 in points at least. So that's it's not too bad. I'm really proud, man. A 10th and a 4th, and now we go to Martinsville. It's going to be tricky, but, oh, man, I think we got some kind of shitty tracks coming up after that. I'm pretty confident. We've got some good equipment overall. Yeah, California is not... I like big track, bigger tracks, so uh, a little a little easier on me. Richmond, I always suck at. Charlotte, we're all right. It's it's really up and down, the schedule, really. Um, we got Michigan, Sonoma, and then Daytona, Chicago Lane. That's a really good stretch. And then New Hampshire, Pocono, Indy. Indy might be good. Watkins Glen. It, it's, uh, yeah, it's... Oh, gee. Look at this stretch. To Bristol... Darlington, Richmond, New Hampshire, Dover. Oh! Fuck! All right, well, anyways, there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going on to Martinsville next race. Once again, we've always had good runs there. We've always qualified on pole for whatever reason. So, um, yeah, as long as we finish that race, top 30, qualify top 25, we ought to be just fine.